not to, to say that there won't be other thunderstorms around, but that's just sort of the timing of where we'd expect the worst conditions. So if you've got some plans to be outside all evening, it's a rainy factor three nasty for being and working outside right now. A tornado watch encompasses almost the entire Channel 7 viewing area until 11 this evening, although as the storms move through the back end of that watch will be cleared off early. Not much right now. We're running Super Doppler 7 radar in Doppler dual pole mode and just a couple of sprinkles really showing up our computer model 4 o'clock there by 5 o'clock severe storms approaching the west part of our viewing area. 6 o'clock into the upper 60s, some spotty showers with the stronger storms west. By 7, they start accelerating. 7.30, we could get a couple of stronger storms to pop near the metro. There's 8.30, so if the timing is right by this model, the storms into the metro and through the metro by 9.30. And then by 10 o'clock, already into most of western Iowa, and by 10.30, 11 o'clock, kind of out of our Channel 7 viewing area. Temperatures dipping back into the 50s. So far today, it's been warm. 75 has been the high that's above the average for the state, which is 71, 52 the low, no rain yet. But again, some coming later on this evening. Recent rains have helped, but there's still a high tree pollen count, not the astronomically high numbers we saw the last couple of weeks, but uh, still technically in the high range. Cloud cover over Omaha. That's our camera at the Embassy Suites on 10th Street. 71 southeast wind. Quadisia mentions it's strong. It is gusting to nearly 40 miles an hour. 68 Fremont, 63 York, 64 Columbus. It's warmer in western Iowa. The winds are very strong from the southeast, gusting, as we mentioned, 39 in Omaha, 40 in Tacoma, 36 in Lincoln. A little noisy here on the radar, but so far that we've seen just sprinkles and one or two passing showers in the west metro, but the storms are just entering central Nebraska, eastern Nebraska. You can see the line all the way down into Oklahoma and the movement to the northeast. So again, that's our activity uh, along a cold front dry line combination and by 11 out of our Channel 7 viewing area. Tomorrow looks like a nice day. We should have a fair amount of sun, maybe a spotty shower or two there, but fairly quiet weather for Tuesday and most of the rest of the week. So severe storms likely to come through this evening, then partly cloudy late night, 49 for the low temperature. Mostly sunny at 8 a.m., super nice midday, and about a 10% chance of a shower at around 3, 4, or 5 o'clock, high of 72. Slightly greater shower chance, but still pretty small on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday and Saturday, decent weather, nice weather. The weekend looks really good. Mother's Day looks like a beautiful day and warming up to around 80 for the high temperature on Monday of next week. So bottom line here, just plan ahead for this evening. Make sure you have a way to get weather information and anticipating.